if you've opened Corel Painter 11 and you don't see any of the toolboxes, the color box, or anything like that, you can go here to Windows and you can click on Toolbox and the Toolbox will pop up. And the same for color palettes and the same for the layers. Okay. There are also other things that you can do that might help you guide through creating it. For instance, you can add a grid for your rulers, just like in maybe Microsoft Word. And then you can see the measurements going across the top. If you click up here, you can get guidelines. These lines will not show up in the final result. However, it is a way to divide the space up just as a guide. Some other things you can do under effects. Um, first, let's add a picture. Going to file place again. Let's add Obama. Or let's, let's do me. It doesn't always have to be Obama. That's just the current project. Let's stretch it out get it in place where we want it. I'm going to make me kind of really stretched out. Make sure you don't have any white spaces showing around the edge. Zoom it out a little bit so I can see the whole thing. Move the bar over. Paint bucket is something you can use. You can do current color or you can change the gradients and you have a lot of different options here to do these kinds of things with. You can do it in the face. You can change the tolerance to select more or less of an area. Okay, so that's obviously too much. If I would control Z to undo, back the tolerance up, much less, and it selects a smaller area. Paint fill bucket, you can also do weaves, in which case there's a lot of different options for that. Okay, patterns, weaves, things like that we can play around with. Under effects, some of the other things you can do under tonal control, you can posterize. I forgot to commit my layer, so that's exactly what has happened, like I explained before. So I would have to go back, redo some of the things that I'd done before. Um, let's check and get some gradients. Use the water lily one. I like that one. I do it on my face here. You can also do boxes. All right. So now I'm going to go to effects, go to tonal control, go to posterize, and you can change the amount of layers you have. Maybe let's do five. You can also go to Tonal control, do negative, and it reverses everything. Some of the other effects that you can do, um, you can do a sketch. You can turn it into a drawing. You can change some of the settings to adjust different aspects of it. I'm not going to go through what each of them do right now, but there we go. You can then go back in with more paint fill buckets and change colors, add colors, but it gives you, it's almost like a coloring book effect. So these are just a few more things that you can do with Corel Painter 11.